Good morning. Happy April Fool's Day. Today I have my March monthly wrap-up video. And for the month of March, I read 19 books, which probably is a record for me in terms of number of books read in a single month. I also, you know, want to preface that by saying I read a lot of hard case crime books, a lot of Lawrence Block in the month of March, which his books are, you know, not shorter, but I mean, to me, shorter. I mean, for me, a book size, you know, a, a decent sized book is about 400 pages. You know, when you get to the five, 600 page, you're talking, you know, that's a pretty dense book. And then beyond, you know, 600 pages, seven, 800, 900 pages are really big books. I traditionally, most of my books, you know, I think are in the four, 450 page count. Um, most of them, Lawrence Block's books are 300 pages. Some of them are less than that. Some are even 250 pages. So you're able to get through those quite a, quite quickly. I read 11 of the 19 books I read on or listened to on Audible um, versus eight of the books I read in, in physical format. That also helps um, Audible. You know, I can listen to most books on Audible at, you know, 1.5 speed, um, sometimes 1.75 speed, depending on if I've read them before. And that definitely also helps cut down. Listening to Audible is something, you know, I probably make its own separate video about, but for me, listening to books on Audible definitely is a huge help in, in terms of reading more books because I I do a lot of walking, I do a lot of stuff through my work where I'm checking emails, doing data entry or stuff like that, and it gives you time to do different things. You know, I, I found with Audible, you know, putting, you know, headphones in and doing laundry or whatever the case may be, or doing yard work or doing stuff around the house, you can quickly over the course of the day, just little bits and pieces here and there, rack up another hour of listening. So if you do those things, you know, when you're driving and stuff like that, it, it adds up quickly over the course of a, of a week. So those definitely help. Average rating for all the 19 books I read in the month of March was 3.98 average score. So I definitely read some really, really uh, good books. Uh, my top books for the month, I had a tie for second place, which were both John Grisham books, Rogue Lawyer and The Partner. Really enjoyed these books. They have their own separate book reviews. Yeah, really, really good books. And then the best book I read in the month of March was Stephen King's Full Dark, No Stars. Again, if you haven't seen my book review on this, I really enjoyed this book of four novellas. I would have to say of the four novellas, I think... Uh, probably Fair Extension is probably one of my favorite ones just because it's a good story, it's short, it's very tightly written, and it has a lot of Dark Tower references in it. Definitely one of my favorite, but 1922 is disturbingly good. Uh, a Good Marriage is disturbing, is really good, and then Big Driver is, is, is a really good story that covers a really... I want to say the subject matter is not for the faint of heart. So if you ever get the chance to read any of those three books, I highly, highly recommend it. Looking forward to the month of April, I probably am going to have a downturn in the number of books I've read. You know, in the first quarter of this year, now that that's wrapped up, I've read 45 total books, which is a lot. I expect my numbers in April to probably be about half of what I did in March, maybe about 10, 10, 12 books would be great. Um, but I'm going to be reading some bigger books. In my weekly wrap up, I talked about what I'm reading this week. You know, Tommy Knockers is on there. That's a big book, 700 and some pages long. It'll take me a while to get through that. Um, I do have, you know, other books that I want to read. You know, I'm definitely. <clears throat> reading through the continuing through the Matthew, Matthew Scudder series by Lawrence Block, continue to read in books and the Prey series by Lucas Davenport. I have other books in my TBR that I did a TBR video recently that I want to get to the Cain and Abel series. There's 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 a bunch of books I want to read. Um, there's it seems like you're 
always you're 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 you know between buying more books and having books you know it my wife you know will make fun of me and i, I equate it to well you, it's like your shoes and purses you don't need more of those <laughs> but we get them but anyways i am never going to be at you know a standstill when it comes to books to read i definitely am trying to be a little more choosy in what i do read um you know but i am picking up really good series you know harry potter's up there you know the dark material series i want to get to uh the dandelion series by ken lu up there i've been meaning to get that for months so i've got no shortage of books to read for 2024 and beyond but i will get new books i promise <laughs> but anyways overall it's been a march was a great reading month April definitely is probably going to be a little down in terms of numbers, but I don't think it'll be down in terms of quality. I, I definitely have some goals in the coming months. You know, obviously, I mentioned Tommy Knockers. Uh, it's one of the four books from Stephen King that I have yet to read, so I can say I've read all of his works. And so I definitely want to do that um, over the next couple of months is get those knocked out. There are the four, you know, three of those four books are the books that I've been waiting and waiting to get to and procrastinating because of what people say about them. So I'm just taking, you know, I got to take the dive and, and want to finish it because I'm just, that's my personality. I just can't not finish, you know, having everything he's wrote, read by myself. So anyways, I'm starting to ramble here. I have a lot more to talk about. Um, I definitely have more videos that I plan on posting, you know, this week more to talk about, more ideas and feedback that I've gotten from you, the viewers. So please keep that up. If you have any thoughts or want to share your thoughts or have ideas and you are stuff that you would like to see more of, please comment, uh, like the video, subscribe, all that jazz. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me ramble about books. Uh, as long as you continue to view it, I'll continue to publish it. Hope you're having a great week and talk to you later. Bye.